Well, hello once again. Welcome to Dwayne's Boombox channel. Yes, we have uh, we've finally received this particular boombox. Well, they don't really call it. Well, we call it boombox anyway. That's what they say. Uh, which is the uh, audio crazy. Uh, let me just have an audio crazy. ACRC86BT. And it's got uh, all sorts of goodies on here. It's come from the United States. I live in the UK. So uh, it came within 10 days from Amazon. And uh, yes, it's a mono one. It's got long, it's got long wave. No, it's got long wave. It's got FM, AM, shortwave, two shortwave bands, shortwave one and shortwave two. And uh, yes, this is a mono version. And uh, there's the old ticket there, you see. And uh, yeah, looking good really. Um, right, okay, let's uh, uh, have a look at it and uh, see what we got to offer. We put that one behind the old box. We've got a book of instructions there, audio crazy uh, manual, which is quite thick actually, surprisingly. Uh, it's got all the goodies on there, as you can see. Um, and it's uh, USB. And Bluetooth, I think it's Bluetooth, I'm not too sure. Um, there it is, there's the old radio, and uh, um, and it looks very, uh, very clean. I think it's very uh, well thought of. The old tape buttons there, uh, play, rewind, forward, eject, stop, and pause. These are the functions, keys, I suppose you can't really see very well, but that turns the radio on and usb or is it yet yeah, usb stick and that is the band button short wave one short wave two fm and and am you've got your base um base um control which controls your base which is unusual to have base on a mono uh radio cassette recorder and of course a volume and we'd slide around here. You've got the uh, the functions for USB, so you can plug your stick in there, one of these, in there, see? And you can play. This light here, apparently, is a charging light, um, which is pretty cool. I'll tell you more about that shortly. And it's got its own battery compartment. I think it takes... Uh, D's, not too sure, but never mind. <laughs> you've got your, um, you've got your headphone socket there, as well. You've got your headphones, and you've got your PowerPoint there. I must warn you, um, you have to get yourself a, a, a power converter because apparently this uses 120 volts. Is it? Yeah, 120, 120 volts at 60 megahertz. So you will have to buy an adapter which I've already bought from Amazon to convert it from 220, 240 volts down to 110 volts. Which otherwise if you plug it into a UK mains it will blow it up. <laughs> right let's get on with it uh, Mr. Teapot. Um, here you go is the round speaker. Not very big really not very big. There's your tape player. See what I'll tape in there at the moment. Not bad rejects, not too bad. You see, there you go. And you've got your, as I said, you've got your USB start side of things and your battery. Now this particular radio has its own, it has its own battery uh, department. It uses uh, a rechargeable one, so you can charge it up by using the mains. And you can actually charge it up and use it. I don't know how many hours. Must be about 24 hours of usage, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the only disappointment, it's got a VU meter. Yes, that is active. That does go up and down when you play the, the songs or the music, wherever you're playing. It pings up and down. Uh, the tuning dial, which has got here, like the tuning dial here. Got your tuning dial. But, unfortunately, now... My problem is, I've got the light on, and I can't hardly see the actual 
tuning dial I can see the red thing but it's not very clear and it's got its own microphone so you can record your own vo sexy voice how about that right okay yeah uh, let's get started it's got an antenna for FM up and down you've got your FM aerial as well we see it's quite good actually okay where should we start um put it there that's it that's it that's what we need to see you see shall we start with um uh record uh no let's, let's see what the sound quality is like okay <laughs> that would certainly make me want to go to the toilet And you've got your you've got your bait you've got your bass thing you can hear the difference In this week's edition of Words and Music, the readers were Georgie Glenn and Tom Durham. The programme was produced by Julia May. Thank you very much, Julia May. I love that lady. Cool, I wish I could meet up with her. Right, OK, uh, anything else uh, music-wise? I think we best to uh, put an old fake, fake cassette in there and uh, we'll see what we've got on here. Well, we can always put it stuck in there, actually. Good gracious me. Right, okay. Let's put the old cassette in there and see see what it's got to offer. Right, let's just press play for a minute. There's your play button there and record. Seven or visit we want gold dot co dot uk. No, I think I recorded that I think I recorded that on another machine, so so what we do, go forward, go back. <laughs> oh boy. Right, okay. I'm just going to play you an ordinary cassette. Just for a couple of seconds of this. Uh, just a quick. Okay, right, okay. That's the sound quality on the cassette. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, and now we stick a. USB stick in the hole in there and there you go it should say pairing it's beginning to lift up their heads and if and how the rain holds whereby that right, is okay. it automatically plays when you put if you've got some recording it will play automatically is that i'm more in reach of the places around me i intend <laughs> to walk over the island right can we east, pause west, it north. right we can pause that right okay you've got your red you've got your light on as well right okay now let's try and tape something on here this week a sonic journey into japan's unique culture of music cafes and listening bars places right, where people come about... together to indulge in deep listening to music in audiophile quality with venues for fans of uh, everything from classical music well but because God, <laughs> i tried to record something on there and i'm glad i didn't because it's a pre-recorded right okay let's press play See what the sound quality is like on record, shall we? Uh, radio? Radio on? Press the This gramophone here in front of us is called a credenza and it dates back to 1925. You're recording onto tape, as you can see. It is the largest gramophone in the world and the very last acoustic gramophone that was ever produced. <laughs> right, okay. right, rewind. Let's see what it sounds like, eh? Let's see what it sounds like. See if it sounds naff. <laughs> nah. Seven or visit we want gold.co.uk. This gramophone here in front of us is called a credenza and it dates back to 1925. It's... It, to me, it sounds okay, but it's got a little waffly noise behind the audio. Audio. Right, let's try. Let's try the USB stick. A fibre needle. 
stop. What's it doing? Right, okay. So what you have to do when you want a USB stick to record, you press the play and that button together. Can't My name is Kenji Teramoto. It's recording I am onto, the owner uh, of the Classical uh, Music Cafe. It's recording onto the USB stick right now. I opened this cafe in the 1980s and I designed the whole interior myself. Right, so right to put, stop the actual recording, you have to press. Oh, you have to press both of those together. Right, it's stopped now. And now let's play and see if we got the same doodah or got on a USB on there. Let's see if it will find. I am the owner of the classical music cafe Violon in Tokyo. Right. I must say, it's better quality on USB stick recording than it is actually on the cassette itself. So I would recommend if you want to record something on there, get yourself a 32 gig on one of these sticks or maybe a little bit less and hopefully that will work. Um, you got your play and your pause, your rewind, step forward and all that sort of thing on the side there. So, right, okay. Um, Next, we should try, if I know what I'm doing, um, right, okay, we should try record my voice onto, awesome. onto a mug, I think I might need, no, I don't know, let's try and record my voice, I press record, will it record, it's a bit of, Was it not doing anything? What have I done to it now? Uh, play me record. How do you, how do you record? <laughs> I'm pretty clever on these things. Uh, right, stop. Play me record. Hello, this is uh, this is uh, Dwayne's Boombox channel, and we're testing this uh, audio crazy boombox on a lovely little microphone. Ah, there you go. Right, we press stop on there. What's it doing now? This is uh, Dwayne's Boombox channel, and we're testing this uh, audio crazy boombox on a lovely little microphone <laughs> there you go right can press we press stop on there thank you round of applause <laughs> Woo! right okay the review on this is uh, not too bad it's pretty good for the money i paid 87 pound 97 pence for sending this lovely unit from the United States and those people in the United States don't have to pay tax or anything for shipping so normally it's 61 dollars so go to amazon.com if you really would like to grab hold of this beautiful uh, audio audio crazy boombox well thank you for watching and before we do yeah we've, we've already done the tape as well well to my opinion it's not bad for the money uh recording on to cassette forget about it but playback is all right uh radio sounds really good yes here you can feel them it was such radio great good. feeling in your oh, oh you know the tune is tune is all right well i think it is <laughs> the quality is good. You got your bass track. Not very. Ba I mean, it's not really bassy anyway. So uh, you know, it's it's the way it is. What you pay for, I suppose. 
but you can pay up to £200 on a boombox and it sounds just as rubbish as the, the Monel ones do. Anyway, well, thank you very much for uh, uh, watching this uh, new, uh, one of the new ones, which I'm most probably the only person who's actually reviewed this particular radio cassette player. So it's an AC-RC86BT, if you want to grab hold of one. But I'm going to keep it anyway. It's not a bad, not a bad set, really. I know you can do better, but hopefully audio crazy if you see this lovely review you can see what i'm talking about on the set but with regarding playback and everything the tone is sort of you know the the, the sound is you know doesn't sound good but it has quite a small but it doesn't have the side speaker in there it's only a little bit smaller in there but my review for 61 dollars it's okay but don't don't go crazy <laughs> All right, we'll catch you again sometime, and uh, thank you for watching, and subscribe, and press that thumbs button. All the best around the world. This is Dwayne's Boombox Channel. Take care, and look after yourselves, and thumbs up. Thumbs up, come on in, thumbs up. That's what it's all about on my channel. Cheers, bye.